Welcome friends, Frank Mondoze here on another adventure. I am currently in Villa Hermosa, Mexico, just about to get on another journey with uh, Caipacha called The Mysteries of the Jaguar. It's uh, happening in the Yucatan, which is very interesting. I always like to look at the synchronicities that happen in my life. And one of the things uh, that happened was I picked up a book to come on this journey with me, not really knowing uh, what the book would be about. And I picked up a Serpent of Light from uh, Jumvlo Malkizadeh. And uh, the whole book, I started reading it in the plane on the way here, and it's all about uh, the temples and the uh, it, pyramids in the Yucatan. So to me, I take that as a symbolism of uh, being on the right track, as I had no idea that the book would actually be going in depth uh, about the temples and pyramids in the Yucatan. Very excited to see um, what comes out of this journey. So I hope um, you follow it a bit with me and that you too can uh, get something out of this journey from afar. I just want to, to take this chance again to welcome you. Olmeca means the ones who are connected with the cosmic road or movement of the universe. So in this time, through the astrology, we're going to connect to that serpent of or rope with the spirit of consciousness of the universe. Yeah. So, do you want to be an Olmec? Ah, uh, yes. Just connect to your serpent of light with the universe. This is what means Olmeca. In many traditions, as the North Americans, the Native Americans, the Mayas, the Incas, and many others, still we wear feathers as a remaining of that time when we were Lemurians. We were tall, and part of that Lemurian areas is the place we are going to go now. In Maya, we say, in La Quech, Alaken. I am you, and you are me. You are the mirror of myself. We are reflections of ourselves in the other's people. This is the meaning of the Mayan Cosmic Salutation. Wherever is your intention and attention is where you are. So if I see Venus, this beautiful planet, and I put my intention and attention in that light, are you there? Yes. Oh, yeah. Because the intention is the one who changed the reality of who we are. The Mayan said this, if you believe, you can create. If you can create, you can manifest. It's Maya, completely. Maya land came from the word Mayab, M-A-Y-A-B. Ma means few. Jav, the land. So Mayab, Maya land means the land of the few. The land of the chosen one. We are in the Lemurian Atlantis land, surrounded by water. All this land has more than 30 rivers cross, and water is the element of the inner transformation of the emotions. So, Comal Calco came from two words. Comal means the griddle, the place when we made the tortillas. And Calco means the house, Cali, the house. So Comal Calco means the house of the griddle. So Comal Calco was the place where the essences, the souls and the spirits were cooked, were prepared to ascend to the next enlightenment statement. And this is not amazing, we choose the first day to come to Comal Calco that we cook our essences in the mother water's energy to be cleansed, to purify ourselves for the next days. So we're here at the first stop. 
excited. Excited is the key word of this trip so far. Enthusiasm is the God within expressing itself in its magnificence, in its happiness, in its joy. The Mayans represented the cosmos in three big levels. The level of the sky or heaven, the level of the earth, and the level of the underworld. And this pyramid has 13 levels. And as you see, it's made of the clay, the red soil, blended with oyster shell. That part with white was covered all the pyramid. So in the full moon's days, all the side shine like a beautiful pearl. On another journey, brother. On another journey. Oh, oh yeah. To the mysteries of the Mayas. Absolutely. He said, it's knowing by the traditions that the absolute is the 13th number. That's why the absolute is the unmanifested absolute, where everything comes. That's why the 13th in some cultures may they have the fear to mention. And we associate that with 13 is the bad luck number. We have the universe, 13, we become in that 13. Changing our mind, charging our skull. This is the birth. This is coming from the womb of the mother, of the past, of the inner feminine spirit, out into the fiery, dynamic, solar energy and expression of our unique heart self. This is just so, <laughs> so beautiful, so special, yeah. So we're at the base of uh, Komokau, as you can see over there. The pyramid is the seventh chakra. The first little hill is the sixth chakra, and then it goes all the way down to uh, the root chakra. So we're doing a process of which uh, we do all the chakras and uh, grounding and prayer at each chakra. I've already done from top to bottom, and now I'm gonna go bottom to top. And uh, you're going to come on this journey with me. May I find my voice and share my voice so that it can be a sound of inspiration for myself and for those around me. May I speak truth. speak with honor, and may I choose my words carefully only to serve the oneness in all. Show what you are. Be humble and recognize your mistakes as you recognize your gifts. People feel sometimes only recognize the bad things. No, I can say recognize the light that you are and emphasize in your light the shadow will come in one because there is no a real division between the yin and the yang because it's only one force. The sky represents the dots in the skin of the jaguar. The constellations, the group of the stars, the Pleiades, the Orion, and the Mayan cosmovision represent the spots of the jaguar skin. And the eyes of the jaguar will guide you if you are brave, you have the courage to see straight in the eyes of the Jaguar. Because the Jaguar is the guardian of the hidden temples of the secrets of the universe. And you know, the most important lesson here for all of us is to learn how to love. That's the main lesson for the six billion people in this planet now, how to love. And I'm sure that through the teachings of Kaipacha, through the teachings of the Mayan teachers of the light, you will access to the next step. Just remember, everything is inside your heart. Everything is within you. You only need the key to open that that is already 
in your mind and in your heart. And the day that we pass to another dimension, we'll travel in another galaxies, in another houses, in another solar system. And this is the infinite, infinite way to accept the mysteries of the Jaguar and this journey began today. Today is the best day of our lives. Today we are beaten, we are connected, we are looking, we are hugging, we are here. So that was day one on the Mysteries of the Jaguar tour with uh, Kaipacha and Miguel Angel, uh, which was really amazing. I uh, was very pleased with uh, the journey to the Comalcalco temples uh, here near Villa Hermosa, Mexico, and uh, really happy with Miguel's teachings. He's brilliant. He has a lot of information on the Maya and the Mayan people and the culture that was there uh, and as well as the mystery and around uh, Atlantis and Lemuria and so I'm really digging this content um, tomorrow we head out to San Cristobal on that note I say good night and I'll see you tomorrow peace